It takes two to make a thing go right. Yeah. I'll let you do all the noise. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna want you to lose air. You're sharing yours. They say like if you can't fit a certain amount of fingers, that means you're almost gonna have the baby. What is that, something else you guys didn't tell me about pregnancy? Jeez. There's really no room here between your boobs and your belly. I could have told you that. Like one finger. Prior to your finger test. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. Welcome back to Side by Side. As you can see, I am much more pregnant than I was the last time you saw me. So today is a really fun update on everything my pregnancy. <sighs> She's had an amazing pregnancy. I've had an amazing pregnancy. I feel extremely blessed to be able to say that out loud and proud. There was a point in my pregnancy where I was like, where's my belly? How come I don't feel pregnant? A problem most of us do not have. I, for one, didn't have that luxury. I always felt pregnant. I always felt sick. She has been a phenomenal pregnant person. It's true. Remember I used to tell you when I was pregnant, like, I'm going to take on all the bad stuff, and then when you finally do it, you're going to be great. I just didn't know that that was gonna be true. True. I guess like now that I'm literally nine months pregnant, I find myself exhausted, back pain that just never goes away, doesn't matter what you do. Um, <laughs> and my hips. Your hips are going like this. Yeah, my hips are spreading, I hope they stay. Because I feel like a little shapelier and that's yeah. really cute to me. It's called childbearing hips. Well, wait, let's bear the child and keep the hips. It's, it's, it's a preparation for. I'm physically ready, I want to meet my baby, and I am exhausted at all times. I could fall asleep with my eyes open. I might be asleep now. <laughs> Do you wanna on? see how cute my baby is? It's cute. It's a little face. I don't think I'm very strict though. I just think that I am protective. I get in trouble with you for doing things wrong that I didn't even do wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting a Subway sandwich. You can't have a sandwich. And I'm like, Khadija, it's a veggie. There's no meat on it. You didn't get That only happened one time when I realized that the craving was a veggie delight. But prior to that, I didn't know that because sandwich meat is not allowed. That's, again, not me being strict. That's me being protective. Don't talk about me. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> I can legit see your mouth moving. <laughs> I cannot believe that I have made it to nine months pregnant. Yes, I complain more than I ever did during this pregnancy, but I'm heavier, I'm really sleepy, my lips are huge and they hurt. I don't sleep that great anymore because he's the boss of all sleep positions. And, and she eats a lot. I do eat a lot. But that's the fun part. I mean, yeah. I will say eating is very fun. I think- Two o'clock in the morning, she's eating. I'm always eating, because I'm always up. And what yeah, else is there to do? Way. TV He's and a food. very active baby. He's a very active baby, but to me that feels like a very beautiful conversation between the two of us. I feel like that's his way of communicating with me, so <laughs> he's, let's just say he talks all the time, okay? Yeah. So I call her baby, or my baby, Kung Fu Panda, because he's always kicking her butt. He's a very active baby. That's very true. This, constantly. I know he's her okay. Her stomach does like ripples. It's very odd. I'm always- I think it's really cute. Hi, Panda. Hi, I don't get talk. What's a do is that a new nickname? You used to say the weirdest things to my dad. I know, I did. I I still do call your kids strange things, but yeah, she created languages, so we're gonna have our own language that she doesn't speak. So what's really crazy is I have developed some of Malika's pregnancy symptoms. I think the first one was I just got really gassy out of nowhere, like burping. And she has this All repetitive, but 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 <laughs> all the time. And I have no reason to be that way, but I'll just be at home and I'll find myself being a burp train. 
And then I'll call her and be like, I don't know why, I'm just so gassed. And she's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just at home burping. I'm like, great. Oops. Is it twin thing? It is. All I want to do is lay on my face. Oh, I'm a face planter. OK, most people would tell you, don't sleep on your face. Use a silk pillow to, uh, whatever. I drink water, I moisturize, I take care of myself. And if I need to get a good face plant and a pillow for sleep, that's what I did. We've just been abandoning my good old face plant for a good three months. And I want it back. You'll be back. At, well, I don't know how comfortable that'll be because then it'll go from the belly is big to the boobs are too big. It's fine. The boobs and will be then, fine. The boobs well, will they're be they're uncomfortable fine. to sleep on, though. I don't think so you Whatever. That. The boobs will be fine. It'll be, what is it called? We're not like going to worry about boobs. Cool. No. We'll worry about a baby, but I'm not worried about boobs. You're like, I'll just hold them and lay them. <laughs> Those can be redone. <laughs> I Our would... mother had fairly easy pregnancies. That's so true. it's hard to know where we would fall. And she... Well, you're on the good spectrum. You're on her side. Yeah, my mom. And so is Akila. True. I was the bad one. That's gonna actually, you're like the only woman yeah. in the family that. No shock there. Well, I mean, I'm the only woman in the family that's not married, so. Well, that's not. I will say this mm. I've had such a great pregnancy that I might do this once or even two more times. Yeah, catch up, Mustard. I've got a few. <laughs> that was the best, <laughs> corniest thing of life. I loved it. <laughs> I have changed so much, just as far as my priorities are concerned. I mean, I basically lived in the same townhouse for 11 years. Loved my townhouse, but I was the ultimate bachelorette. And I think when I found out I was pregnant, something just came over me. And like, I, I have said, to buy a house. I, I have to buy a house. My son needs a backyard. And where do I put him? Where do I yeah. put my stuff? Where does the nanny go? Where does this, where, I need another guest room. Like I just, everything changed for me. And I went a little overboard. I bought like, I bought a house, I bought two cars. One's for the baby though. Like just specifically for the baby. I kind of lost my, mommy mind. That's how I make up for it. I'm, thank God for this baby. I feel like he's going to save my life because I'm taking much better care of myself now than I yeah, ever yeah. had because he existed. Very, or excuse me, very true. Because he exists. Yeah, very true. She's got it all now. Spoiled thank brat. Thank you, baby. One spoiled brat, there's another spoiled <laughs> brat. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Which I, nobody even like can believe that you Here's did that. the thing. No one would ever think that I would be a soccer mom. I would never think I'd be a soccer Which mom. Which technically you're not because of this yet. But I did buy a minivan. They are in fact the safest vehicles for children. You know, <laughs> but why? Why are they I the did, safest? Vehicle? I did my research. I discovered that a large percentage of car accidents that include children, the impact is in the side of the car. Most standard vehicles do not have airbags in the side of the vehicle. Well, I can't have my child riding in a car that doesn't have real protection. So no. I bought a minivan. Now most will say it's not a minivan, it's a Mercedes-Benz Metris truck, but it's a minivan. It's a minivan. The sliding doors are on both sides. It's the most convenient thing I've ever seen. I didn't even have to change the kind of stroller I was gonna get because I can hop in that joint, grab the baby, pull them out, and it's easy. It, I actually kind of like tricked it out on the inside. It's, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's kind of like a baby limo now. Mm -hmm. So it's got a changing table and a refrigerator and a fur rug and curtains and, and twinkle lights. lights. It's got a lot. It's really fun. Listen, my kids love it, so I'm sure the baby's gonna love it. It's his car, and I, I think it's really great. Get a minivan, <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> I am, in fact, a minivan mom now. Comment below and let me know, when you found out you were pregnant, did you buy a minivan? <laughs> My anxiety is really high now. I've always been a very anxious person, but 
I've also had a multitude of vices to deal with that. <laughs> um, I am like the cleanest I've ever been in my life. So she's definitely nesting. I'm also very anxious about when I'm gonna go into labor. I'm like, is it gonna be in the middle of traffic and I gotta get all the way to Cedar Sinai from the valley? Like. I have the weirdest of thoughts, don't but I don't think, think I'm the only that. person. No, I mean, I, I think naturally all pregnant women, we wanna prepare as much as possible, but there's just things that you can't prepare for, but your bags are packed, you're ready to go. And then as soon as you call me, I'm gonna come and get you and we're gonna go to the hospital. Like, don't even think about it. Just don't think about it because you can't you're control telling when it's me gonna happen. Not to think about something. I know, we'll try yeah, not to think yeah, about it luck. so much. I'm driving you crazy. <sighs> The only way that'll put me out of my misery is if I went into labor right now. Oh, don't say that. I, seriously, I'm that ready. Still, like, yeah, but technically he's still not ready in my eyes. I think he needs to be at least nine months. It's crazy. When I saw him and he's the like last days ultrasound, away from I thought he was saying to me, Mommy, I'm ready to come out. She thinks he talks to her I really do. all the time. I really do. Like, She's like, Sissy, he's doing this right now. And you know what I think? I think, oh, when he gets hiccups, that's what it is. Anytime <laughs> the baby gets hiccups, if I'm not with her, she'll call me and tell me. Because she thinks that he's getting frustrated by his hiccups. I think he is sometimes. I don't think he is because he's a very active baby in the womb, but she thinks like the hiccups, like, okay, so if you're hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. But like, hiccup, if hiccup, you have hiccups, to move. don't they irk you? He's a human being, why wouldn't they irk him? Yeah, I don't think, I just don't think that it's that deep yet for him, right? I understand, I think, she feels the need to like give him personality. <laughs> I think we're he's here even already. got a birthday, but I don't think it's There's a reason enough. why I'm thinking this way. I'm his mom. No, oh, maybe it is an intuitive thing. Listen, I'm not trying to take away your your motherly senses before they've hatched, but I just think that she's connected. She's connecting very well. Oh my gosh. So Monica fell asleep. Please, so much. She's the biggest <laughs> jerk. So on no, the I'm not. This is first of all, it was actually really cute, okay? So Naturally, Malika will call my kids in the morning because she knows their time frame for going to school. I'm FaceTiming her, I'm walking into the school. She's speaking to Christian and Celine, and she was in bed because I guess this was just one of her days where she was like tired and a little lethargic, and I was like, just stay in bed and relax today. She's talking to the kids and they're like, oh, auntie, I da 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 And I looked back at the phone and they were like, auntie? Auntie? She full fell asleep. She was just in bed like this. <laughs> and so I screen, I, I screen grabbed and took a picture of me and the kids laughing and Malika is, is asleep. And then a second later she was like, oh guys, that was such a good day. I love you, can I take all you later? I was like, you full on fell asleep on the phone. It was really, really cute. But these are all the signs to me that she is like at the tail end. Oh, like, I'm ready. You know what we should do? I've been thinking about this, like when he has like a cry or something, if we like it, we should like put it in a teddy bear and then like I could take it to my house and then I could just press a button. Oh, and it could be a panda since he's Kung Fu Panda for me. Yeah. You know, and then I'll press the button and then well, he could like cute. cry or coo and then auntie can have that for when I'm away. I've thought about that. Oh, or I'll, you can I'll just, do it. You can just like, stay the night. No, I'm gonna stay all the time. I'm gonna stay all the time. We'll have to get a Build-A-Bear made. Right, and you put like a little heart and kiss it and you sit. I do that with Selena. I, I she love Build-A-Bear. Build I'm gonna get one made for Panda. You already Panda. did at Stormy's birthday party. Yeah, but there's no noise inside of it. Oh, you have to make a heart. That was for his nursery. Now I have to have one. <laughs> oh, excuse Sorry. me. Sorry, Are guys. we keeping you up? <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. Sorry. I had the most amazing baby shower, full of love, and it was absolutely gorgeous, and every bit of neutral joy yeah. that I could have imagined it being. Because you wanted a black and white baby shower. And although I was okay with that, Chloe was not gonna do it. No, it was so fine, I'm not I throwing her not a baby shower. Blue. I don't know. I just didn't want like the oh, yeah, typical because that's, like, very that's not very me. I'm not really a color person. Like I don't think my son is either. I literally wish I could relive my baby shower at least once a month. 
That would at be a least. lot of work for us, but. <laughs> I know, at least. And I cannot wait to show those pictures to my little boy to show him how many people loved on him and how beautiful it was and how he actually made mommy prettier, you know? Yeah, you had a glow. Really got to say I'm thankful to him for that because yeah. I didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess if I'm just not hot, then I no one will ever see me. I'll just hide for nine I'll just months. Stay in the house. But thank God for His grace. He has blessed mommy with cuteness. You know, yes. that's what we'll say. That's that pregnancy glow that people are always talking about. Yeah, so but now I've you seen get some exactly not so glowy <laughs> pregnancies, and I just wasn't all that sure. I was one of them, you can be honest. That's not true. I had some dim pregnancy. But I did feel like I could like put you in a little ball and like roll and you. roll me. Yeah, but you were was definitely a little butter still ball. cute. I had a lot of little cheeky nicknames when I was pregnant. Like, <laughs> Chunky Monkey. Yep. Butterball. Roly Poly. That's so. <laughs> That means I was big. <laughs> but it was cute. Big. That's because you love me. I was big. <laughs> I don't have abnormal cravings. Not to me. I think I typically eat the same things that I have always loved. I just eat them in excess and have a much greater appreciation for them. You used to not be able to eat like a whole turkey burger. Like you would get no. yours wrapped in lettuce. Yeah, and then I could eat my french fries. Like yeah. my stomach still was like, even I eat could, all of those. like everything was just like a lot smaller. And yeah. now I would devour all everything in front of me and then all of it. The probably pick clean. in your plate. Yeah. My son's father's very annoyed with me when it comes down you to eat his food too. Well, he knocked me up. So the least you could do is feed me. Very true. Although Khadija and I had plans of doing side by side, I didn't have plans of being pregnant. And I think one of the best parts about this is we've now documented one of the most important times in our lives. It's great you get to share that yeah. with everybody too. I think that's really nice. I'm like, I could cry, but I'm so tired. <laughs> It would require but, to release but too honestly, much energy. He's, you're so worth it. That's what mommy wants to say. Mm. I know, I'm gonna up my makeup. <laughs> uh, inhale. Khadija actually wants him to be born on our birthday. So comment below, would you want your baby born on your birthday? My lips feel like they're gonna explode. Like, literally. I feel heavy. Sorry. Okay, wake up. So. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, you keep yawning to the I mean, <laughs> one for like 10. I'm doing pretty good, I think. Hey. <sighs> you got it, Bill.